Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're gonna talk about Billy Cade's Sadistic Origins Explained, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Not many comic book characters have the nerve to send shivers down your spine when you just read about them. However, one character from the Spawn comics has left the jaw of many fans hanging down low. That character is Billy King Cade. It was as if King Cade was thrown into the world straight out of hell because he is best known for being child murder out of all the crimes he has committed. This is where his backstory comes from. In Spawn issue number five, which is his first appearance in the entire comic. King Cade is released from a mental institution because it was believed that he had murdered several children. However, the only charge which was, which was on King Kate's head was that of murdering the senator's daughter. Now, how does Spawn come into the storyline? Before Al Simmons became Spawn, he was hired to kill King Kate. But just before he could do the deed, authority has arrived and he was left unable to complete the mission. After King Kate is released from the institution, he immediately goes to kidnapping and murdering children before luring them to his ice cream truck. That is until Spawn arrives in the scene and takes his revenge on the man in the most brutal way possible. Spawn kills him with the ice cream scooper, popsicle sticks, and a note pinned to his chest that isn't all. Spawn hangs his corpse in the preset office of Detective Sam Burke and Twitch Williams, who had been investigating the death of King Cade. The note on King Cade's torso says, boys scream and girls scream, so I made him scream and scream and scream. This is seemingly the end of King Cade on Earth, but his existence isn't wiped out as hell has something in store for him as it had for Al Simmons. King Cade then wakes up in hell and goes to where Al Simmons made a deal with Malboja to become a hell spawn. King Cade is then fitted with a female symbiote suit, which sexually bonds with King Cade and transforms King Cade into officer of Satan's army. In the 53rd issue, Spawn then returns to hell and battles King Cade. Spawn looks to put a permanent end to King Cade this time, and he does manage to do so after defeating him and chops his head off. A man with such devilish intentions can only exist in the universe of Spawn. Besides, a man like Spawn is best equipped with this skill and might with someone like King Cade, and King Cade is just nasty, man. King Cade has returned the following issues, King Spawn issue number three and King Spawn issue number two, becoming more brutal than ever in every new issue. Although he might not be Spawn's worst enemy, he has the potential to become one. A man like Jason Wynn won't let that happen quickly though. I mean, come on, Jason Wynn is savage as well. Nevertheless, as long as children are out on these streets, a disgusting prayer like King K will always be after them. And to handle the stuff King K does, there will always be creations like Spawn. And that's where we end this review. What you guys think of the video? Comment below, let me know. And also, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.